Good afternoon, everyone. A rainy afternoon in Charlotte. It's raining. They call it for rain all day. So I said, you know what? Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I'm able to sit in the house or stay in the house, but I got to find other ways to, you know, get the um, body rate up. So get them moving. But um, yes, I was just coming on here to say that. I have finally came to the conclusion that it's people that's been in my life, you know, like all my life. Then it's like some more people that honestly, I don't, I know them like through family and um, through my kids' family. And it's just, um, it's like over time I have been sitting around, you know, cause I got time now able to sit around and like replay conversations and stuff in my head, replay things that's been said to me because not because I don't understand what no one is saying to me, but honestly, because I love myself so much and I don't get, I try my best not to get caught up into what people say and, you know, just any drama and toxicity. And, but, um, the human in me, um, starts to let stuff, you know, can my flesh and my flesh can let stuff like get to me. So, um, I made a decision and I've decided that, um, it's most definitely the ones that I can just sit and, you know, I can, it's like God to reveal things to me that's been said. And, um, I have made the decision that, they no longer serve me. <laughs> I no longer serve them. Um, I'm not no indirect person, you know. I'm I'm very I'm very like upfront, transparent. I don't go off of I don't do clues, you know, really well. Um, so, you know, I honestly I can't respect it if it's not given, you know, to me like directly, um, with love. And so, um, yeah, I just feel that I got, I have this right to no longer serve them people anymore. So this week, yes, I've been on a blocking spree. You know, I'm not on like social media. I am on YouTube, but well, you know, on YouTube, but other than that, like any Facebook, Instagram, I'm not on that. But, um, even with my phone, if I feel like, you know what I'm saying, you have tried to, if you have allowed the devil to come in, and, and I was a part of it too, because um, it's most definitely it's a spiritual warfare, but if you have allowed him to come in and, you know, just think you can talk to me, say anything to me, it's like God is making me stronger to say, no, you don't have to take everything that um, somebody wants to put into you. Same thing as far as, it's like he's revealing to me like as far as my health. You don't have to eat everything you see. So it's like, I need for you to take on these different roles because you're going to have to know as far as your head, as far as your body, which is your temple, health, you got to be in control of that. And so I'm so honored and thankful and grateful that I'm feeling myself getting more control. And, um, yeah, and I look forward to this new journey. And I just say all this to say that even with you guys, if someone is no longer being of servitude to you and you're no longer being of service or all it is is you being is like a one-way relationship. You being, you're the one who put, doing all the servitude. You're the one who standing in the need of prayer. You know what I'm saying? It takes two or more. So you can't do it alone. <laughs> Baby, can't do it alone. They got to come in agreement with you. And why people trying to be indirect or, you know, just help their motives to stuff, you know, 
that's a lot of stuff that's not of God's just coming to steal, kill, and destroy. Like I have said in previous conversations, um, the enemy, he doesn't want materials. You know, he doesn't want these fancy cars, million dollar houses and stuff. He can care less about that stuff. That's a material. He want our mind up here. So it's like I have to say to myself, I refuse, I rebuke. And, you know, as far as with my elders, no, I'm not. I know, you know, it was in my heart. I'm not going to say in my heart because that's something negative. I hope not, but in my mind to say, call these people back, cuss them out, text them. You know what I'm saying? God said, oh, no. All you got to do is block them and move on with your life. You ain't even got to block them. Well, it, but if you feel that you're not strong enough to not answer the phone, they for call or you might be in one of them moments, let me answer the phone. No, just block them. Just block them. Just go ahead. Let's go ahead and get that on out the way. So, yeah. So, and then, like I said, as far as um, elders, I'm not my, my, I wasn't a perfect child. So, as far as me um, shortening my days, you know what I'm saying, disrespecting someone, going back and forth, because that's what the enemy wants, you know, for me to get real hostile for me to go there with folks <laughs> but baby it's not worth it so this is it and um like i said i hope you guys keep me in prayer and the ones that's um taking on this journey because this is an exciting journey god has so much more for us and i'm not gonna miss out on my blessings because of foolishness and obedience is better than sacrifice. So, yes, yeah, sir. And I'm going to continue to stay in my word. That B-I-B-L-E. That's the book for me. And continue to, you know, be around uplifting people. Continue to be around. Um, continue to serve and do service. And, um, yeah, and continue to get that reciprocated back. In a positive way with love. And yeah, so we we are blessed. So have a blessed day. Mwah.